Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Dar and welcome to today's LEGO Fortnite video where I am going to be guiding you guys how you can actually create launch pads like a pro rather than a noob in LEGO Fortnite. It's kind of simple to do to be honest. I've not really seen anyone making any videos this before uh, and I think you guys are going to love it. It's a really cool little tip and trick to do. Uh, but before we get into the video guys, don't forget if you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and uh, check out my other LEGO Fortnite videos. But uh, other than that, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so I'm really quickly going to explain why I'm making this video. So I don't know if any of you have realized, but even if you're running at a launch pad and you go off it, it still sends you vertical. And uh, now that doesn't really launch you very far, to be honest. It just launches you high up in the air rather than across the map. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to fix this today by making it so that this launch pad actually launches us way further. Uh, it's pretty easy to do as long as you follow the full video. So make sure that you do stay tuned throughout all of it. But uh, let's get into it right now. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to go and make a dynamic foundation, just like so. After we've made that dynamic foundation, we're going to go over to our wall section and I personally like to use the ancient slanted wall, but you can pretty much use any other wall that you want. We're going to place it just like I have right here. So kind of where the uh, kind of the, the I, I, I don't even know what you'd call this. The kind of rampy area is mostly on the actual dynamic foundation itself. After that, we're going to go over to our toy section and we are going to go and select two small balloons. We're going to press one right here, one on the left hand side right here. And what you should see is, oh, maybe a third one actually then. I guess it's because I'm on a hill, I, I think. So yeah, and we're going to see that our dynamic foundation actually starts to kind of uh, go sideways. That's right. That's what we want to do. So after it's done that, what we're going to do is go and go into our building parts and we're going to go and place down a wooden foundation on the back of this dynamic foundation. And what that should do, it should hopefully weigh it down a little tiny bit. So kind of like on a slant, just like so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to destroy... Oh, how am I going to do this here? Oh, I'm in creative. Okay, we're going to destroy uh, these balloons... Just like that. There you go. And then last but not least, we're going to destroy this wall right here. And what you should be left with is your dynamic foundation is now kind of slanty. That's good. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to our toys. We're going to grab our launch pad. And it's completely up to you on how you're going to do this, to be honest. But I'm going to show you two different ways. Then once we've done that, place our launch pad onto the dynamic foundation and you can even nudge it across and make it float in midair. The only thing that I'll say is just make sure that it is actually touching the floor because when you destroy the dynamic, dynamic foundation, if it's not touching the floor, then it will destroy the actual thing itself too. But other than that, what we're going to do is we're just going to place this like that on the dynamic foundation. Now, one thing you should note is, of course, here we go upwards. Now, what you'll find, guys, is when you actually go onto this launch pad, it will actually boost you sideways, making it so that you actually gain more traction with where you want to go to. So don't be a noob. Don't be placing down launch pads in the same newbie way that everybody else is doing it. Do it a little bit different. Um, this is sort of a little bit of a glitch or something. I don't really know. Um, not many people actually kind of talk about this or when they're doing their build videos. And um, this little glitch right here is just a weird coincidence that it actually allows you to just place it standing in midair, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is basically how to uh, craft uh, launch pads and place them down like a pro. Uh, again, you can pretty much move these around also, which is quite a really cool thing. So uh, rather than just being placed uh, anywhere there, we can actually then go and budge this across, try and get it on a different angle. It, obviously, it's a little bit harder when it doesn't let you freaking turn it, but um, there you go. Now it's made it a complete sideways angle one. 
and it allows us to go even further, I guess. So yeah, uh, so play around with this, guys. I think what a lot of people tend to do is they forget that you can actually place things on walls and ceilings and everything like that. If you want to see more examples on how you can utilize dynamic foundations to make these type of things, then go and check out my channel. I'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future to show you how you can make little traps and all that kind of stuff too. Um, but other than that though, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it very useful. If you're going to use launch pads like this, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm really interested to know if you guys use my videos. Um, other than that though, thank you very much. Have a great day, guys. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.